Welcome. This service is provided. The recording has started. Muted. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to this week's Impact Wrestling Media Teleconference. This is Ross Foreman. I'd like to welcome our special guest, uh, Eddie Edwards. Good morning. Good afternoon. Well, I guess it would be morning for you. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing is the bigger question. I'm doing good. Uh, much better than expected, actually, at this point, as far as uh, my eye injury goes. But uh, I'm doing good. Well, as uh, everybody probably has read, it was a uh, it was a rather rough uh, week for you down in Orlando. Uh, we were down there about a week or ten days or so ago. Uh, why don't you bring us up to speed on on, on what happened and, and where you're at uh, on recovery? Yeah, I, I've had a better a better few days uh, than last time, but um, I ended up getting hit in the face with a baseball bat from uh, by Sammy Callahan and um, OVE and. Um, you know, my face, I, I had to get rushed to the hospital and ambulance and uh, had to get, you know, CAT scan and all that stuff. Uh, turned out I had a small fracture uh, around my eye and a small fracture uh, on the right side of my nose and, you know, a couple cuts and a uh, pretty pretty sweet black eye. Um, but luckily, uh, at the time, they told me I wouldn't need surgery and um, in the long run, it looks like everything's going to be okay. As of now, um, you know, the, the pain's down, which is obviously a good thing. And uh, my vision is uh, just about back, to, you know, to 100%. But, um, and, you know, I, like I said, I'm definitely further along than I than I expected I would be at this point. So, um, you know, it could always be worth it for sure. A, uh, it, was a, it was a scary moment, I will admit that, an ambulance in the back there, uh, but glad to hear everything sounds like it's coming uh, coming back to normal for you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm I'm definitely on the right path, the right track right now. And uh, no doubt you have a little uh, payback for uh, Sammy Callahan forthcoming. Yeah, I mean, that's, that yeah, goes without saying, you know, at this point, obviously the focus is on Sammy and OVE. Um, and, you know, you, you know, things happen in the ring, but then there's, you know, there's lines, certain lines you don't cross, and um, Sam and OV, they seem to know how to cross a line uh, a little too easily. So you've uh, quickly become public enemy number one around here. <laughs> for, for, for me, that's for sure. Around the uh, entire uh, uh, Eddie Edwards family, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know, you know, the wife is not too happy about it, uh, and, you know, of course, you know, my friends, you know, a bunch of my friends and the boys in the back, obviously, um, kind of feel the same way, and a lot of, a lot of people reached out, so uh, that was, you know, the, the positive in this negative was, you know, so so many of my friends reached out and just to touch base, so that was a, a nice thing to happen. Alrighty. Well, we will. Uh, any, anything else going on for you these days? Anything else uh, busy? Not nah, right nope. now. Just you know, just try, just trying to recover and just try to get back and get ready to take on Sammy and OVE, man. Alrighty. Well, we will open up for questions from the media. Uh, again, as usual, I ask you to uh, identify yourself, your media outlet, and uh, please limit it to one question at a time. And then we will uh, come back if you have uh, a follow-up question for Eddie. Q&A session has started. To ask your question, please press star 6. Hello. If you'd like to ask a question, your request has been received. In India. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, man. My question was, how do you feel uh, from going uh, from a six-sided six-sided drink to a four-sided one? Uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, I'm used to working a four-sided ring, so um, it's really nothing nothing too new. You know, that's how I was brought up. Uh, you know, that's how I train, and you know, aside from impact wrestling, you know, everywhere else was for the most part a four-sided ring, so. Um, you know, it's nothing new to me, and, you know, I think that, 
you know, everybody's ready to just, you know, continue doing what we do, whether it's a six-sided ring or a four-sided ring. I don't think it's going to stop or prevent anybody from doing anything uh, we like to do in there. Hi, it's uh, Don Davies from Slam Wrestling. Uh, you had an amazing year in 2017 for Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, do you have any plans in 2018 for in Pro Wrestling Noah? Um, you know, I, in my mind, I always want to go back. I'm always prepared, you know, to go back to Japan for Pro Wrestling Noah. At this time, you know, there's no no set date, but uh, you know, I'm always in conversation. I was in talks with them to try to get back over. Um, you know, obviously winning the GHC Heavyweight Championship that was you know that was one of my goals as a professional wrestler. So, um, you know, was, unfortunately I lost that title, but um, I have my sights set on other things over there as well. Maybe I can go over it with you know somebody from Impact and do some uh, tag stuff. I think that'd be a a unique opportunity for us. So. Um, I'm keeping the options open. I'm just looking forward to getting back over there. Hey, Eddie, this is Graham Matthews with HenryRoad.com. Uh, we saw a little bit of your wife, Alicia Edwards, on Impact Wrestling last year. What was it like working with her on TV? And what's her current status with Impact Wrestling? Yeah, man, it was cool. It was, um, you know, for a long time, obviously, you know, we met through wrestling. So that was always our connection. But then for a long time, you know, we'd do some indie shows here and there together. But to be able to, you know, work at Impact Wrestling together is a whole new, a whole new ball game for us. And it was, it was a unique opportunity, and it was, it was pretty cool. Um, you know, we, we didn't get sick of each other traveling together, which is always a nice thing. Um, and she's still a part of Impact Wrestling, and she will be back uh, sometime soon. That's for damn sure. Hey, Eddie, it's Mike Johnson from PW Insider. How are you, sir? Good, Mike. How you doing, man? Good. Good to talk to you. Uh, there's been some speculation that your deal with Impact is up next month. Can you clarify what your contractual status with the company right now is? Uh, yeah, and, you know, Impact Wrestling has been my home for the past few years, and it will continue to be my home for the foreseeable future. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. Uh, this is Stephanie from Steel Chair Magazine in the UK. My question will be pretty simple. Um, what uh, 2018 on Impact Wrestling would be for Eddie Edwards in terms of championships, match? What are your goals for 2018? Thank you. Yeah, you know, uh, um, my goals right now, you know, in the immediate future are you know, to to go out to Sammy and Obi and and get this thing, you know, get this revenge accomplished on Sammy. But then, you know, in the background, there's always that heavyweight championship. That's, you know, that's why I am a pro wrestler. That's why everybody comes pro wrestler to become the world champion. So um, that's always in my sights at all times. It's always on my mind. Uh, but right now, I have to focus on, you know, <laughs> on Sammy and, and Ovi and, uh, trying to get the revenge for, you know, basically try, trying to take one of my eyes. So that that's my plan yeah. right now. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, this is Riju from Sportskeeda again. Uh, I was listening to an interview uh, with Sammy Callahan in which he said you had a chat with him after the incident happened. Uh, could you shed some light on what was discussed in this uh, talk? Thank you. Uh, you know, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I can't really specify what, you know, what was said, you know, in the back. But, you know, we did, we had a conversation, we exchanged some words, and, you know, that's, that will be, you know, between us. But, um, you know, some things are done with intent, some things are done by accident, and, you know, some people are up in the air as to how how this happened uh, in the ring, and you know, I'll let people try to figure it out on their own. You may now ask your question. 
Hi, Ryan Bowman from the GorillaPosition.com. You had uh, so many tag team accomplishments when you entered Impact Wrestling. How important was it for you to establish yourself as a singles competitor, not just in the U.S., but also with what you've done internationally? Yeah, you know, um, obviously coming into Impact Wrestling as part of the Wolves with uh, Davey Richards, that was, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to, you know, continue as a tag team and, and you know, obviously we saw success like that. But I think uh, one of the strong points for us as a team was at any point you could break us apart or we could go singles or we'd get back together. But when we went out on our own, we would still have success. So I think that was a very unique thing where you don't see with a lot of tag teams where if you break them up, they tend to, you know, kind of fizzle out. But I feel when you separated us, we would still find that success. And, you know, over this past year, obviously, Pro Wrestling Noah winning the championship there and, you know, being a former heavyweight champion for Impact. If, if there was any doubt, which I don't know there was, but I, I feel like I approved myself. And um, But, you know, I've obviously am very grateful for the time that I had with Davey and who, who knows what would happen down the road. Muted. Hey, Eddie, it's Mike Johnson again, sir. Um, in the last year, the company has had obviously a a larger spotlight in the Canadian markets. I was curious if you could break down how you feel about working more in front of the Canadian audience, and if there's a different, if there's a noticeable difference from the performer's perspective in how the Canadian fans react versus the fans in Orlando. Uh, you know, as far as getting to work in front of a new crowd, that's always a great thing for you know for any company. Uh, such for impact wrestling, be able to expand the brand by now. Um, as far as get, you know, for us in the ring, you know, we're gonna go out, we're gonna do, we're gonna do our stuff that you know that never changes. Um, but to be able to you know apply our trade in front of people who may not have seen us live, uh, or you know, it may not have seen us on on TV and stuff like that, it's just a new chance to to bring new fans in. So there is a sense of um, for myself anyway, you know, a sense of added pressure, like, all right, let's 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 not drop the ball here. Let's take this, let's run with it. Let's show these people what we can do and what we can accomplish and try to get them on board. That's, you know, that's the main goal. Given that the Orlando fans have seen everything under the sun the last 12, 15 years of Impact yeah. history, is it a little easier as a performer to get a reaction out of those Canadian fans versus trying to get those Orlando fans to to react when they, they, they've obviously experienced everything you can imagine? Uh, you know, I, I think it's situational. I think it's it kind of happens anywhere you go. If it's a, if it's a fan or, or fans who have seen everything who are kind of jaded, they're going to be a bit tougher. But even in Orlando, you know, there's going to be fans who are, you know, who love wrestling or into everything. And obviously that's, those are the fans that, you know, we love and we want all the time. So uh, I think it's all situation where it all depends on, on what's going on in the ring and what each, you know, each fan has seen on their own. Yeah, it's tough to kind of break it down that way. All right. Thank you for the time, sir. Thanks, Mike. And you got a question from Lee Mead of Live Radio in Scotland. Both you and your uh, wife are wrestlers. Do you watch each other's matches as they happen, or do you and do you critique each other afterward? Uh, yeah, you know, we of course I try to as much as we can. We try to watch the matches as they happen, but obviously at you know at tapings and stuff like that, sometimes you're running all over the place doing other things. But uh, any chance I get or any chance she gets to watch my match, we make sure to do that. And then, of course, you know we're we're a team. We're a team, not just in wrestling, but we're a team in life and we want to support each other. So if there's something that she thinks I can do better, she'll tell me it's something I feel that she could do better or change. I'll let her know. Um, we always try to strive to make each other better. And I think that's, that's what makes us uh, a special. It makes us, makes us a couple that, I, that works, you know? So uh, I think that's a good thing. Hello there, I'm Nate Fanstrays from Evening Pop, and my question is to you, Eddie. Um, when you got um, attacked by Sally Callahan, um, what were the thoughts that were going through your mind at the time, and has he shown any remorse for what he's done to you? Uh, what, were, what were my thoughts, or what were his, his thoughts? Your thoughts. Uh, 
uh, well, I, I mean, as soon as it happened, um, yeah, I, I grabbed my eye and I got out of the ring and got to the back as fast as I could. And, you know, as I'm walking up the ramp, my thought is I hope my eyeball is not in my hand or in the ring or somewhere. You know what I mean? I had no idea. I just, you know, I got hit. I felt that hit to my eye and I just, you know, I, I assume the worst and hope for the best. And, um, obviously in the end it, it worked out better than, better than it could have. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, you know, Sammy, he said a few things, you know, a few things to me here and there. And, um, I, I think he has some remorse, you know, maybe, but I, I can't get into his mind. You guys going to have to ask him. I don't really know. Uh, where his head at, is at with this whole situation. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Eddie, this is Graham Matthews from com again. Uh, Lashley's kind of been in the news recently for his departure from Impact Wrestling. Uh, what were your thoughts on working with him over the World Championship in late 2016, early 2017, and did you expect to win the world title upon coming to Impact about four years ago as a tag team competitor? Uh, man, you know, Lashley, Lashley's the man. Uh, he's a great guy outside the ring. He's obviously an unbelievable talent, just a, a you know, a freak of nature in the ring. And uh, I always felt that we had good chemistry. I always felt that, you know, when we went into the ring, he would bring the best out of me and I would do my best, you know, to bring the best out of him, which obviously in wrestling, that that is what you want to do. That's what we want to accomplish. Um so and I would I have said this before I would wrestle Lashley any day of the week every day of the week and, you know it doesn't matter um, I really enjoy those matches I always felt the felt the pain and the bumps and bruises after but you know this is what was worth it um, as far as becoming heavyweight champion like I said this, you know that's always the goal you know that's all of our goals in wrestling we want to become the world champion uh, did I think it would happen the way it did or when it did uh, maybe not. Um, but I always had that goal. So that was always on, on that list of goals, which I try to break, you know, I always try to break it down and went from winning the tag team championships, winning the next division championship, and then winning the heavyweight championship. And uh, lucky enough for me, I was able to check all those, all those off my list. And I'm very uh, thankful for that. Hi, Eddie. David Dunlop from New Zealand Pro Wrestling Informer. Um, as a world-travelled pro wrestler, you know, you've been all over the globe. How important do you think it is for Impact Wrestling to maintain working relationships with uh, various companies around the world, like you know, AAA in Mexico, Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan, etc.? Uh, I think that, you know, I think it's a very important thing. I think um, it, it opens up the door to endless possibilities to you know, matchups, you know, matches that you thought you'd never see and just and just special events that, you know, people thought they would never see and never be a part of. Like, if it wasn't for the working relationship between Pro Wrestling Network and Impact Wrestling, I probably wouldn't have got the chance to become a world champion over there, to become a GHC champion. So it just opens up doors, and that's what it is in this business. You want to have working relationships. You want to have chances. You want to have opportunities. And, by having all these working relationships, that's what it provides is opportunity, and that's that's the biggest thing in professional wrestling, getting that chance. Fantastic, thank you. Hey, David. Yes. Yeah. Well, quick question for you: It's four in the morning. Are you waking up, or are you still going to bed? <laughs> I've opted to still go to bed. I've stayed up all night for this one. All right. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Thank, thank, thank you for you. Uh, yeah, thank you. sticking around. <laughs> Eddie, you been to New Zealand? Uh, not yet, not yet. That's one that's on the bucket list, though. All right. Well, I'm sure uh, David will give you the VIP treatment when you get over there. <laughs> yeah, come on over. It's a wonderful place. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, at some point. Uh, hey, uh, Ruju from Sportskira again. Just wanted to know your thoughts on Austin Aries coming back to Impact Wrestling. About Aries coming back? Yes. So, yeah, I think that's a you know it's a great thing. Aries, um, you know he was he was a huge part of Impact Wrestling just a few years ago. So to have him come back and uh, you know obviously he's he's stepped his game up, he's elevated his game, and to be able to come back with the new crop of 
uh, wrestlers, new crop of superstars in Impact Wrestling. Again, it, it just it gives us some unique matches, some unique matchups. Um, he's a you know he's a true professional. He's one of the best there is in the game right now, um, as far as on the mic and in the ring. So that's that's hard to come by. So he's, he's something special, and it's nice to have him back back home, as we say at Impact Wrestling. Uh, Stephanie for Tircha Magazine in UK again. Um, uh, um, I may be French, but I'm representing a British media, and I noticed that you've been working in the in United Kingdom for something like 10 years. And I wanted to ask you about the evolution of British wrestling um, and... Um, the crowd and everything that you you see uh, you noticed over this, this this last ten years and thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty amazing to see what's going on in the UK scene right now. It's just professional wrestling in general. You know, independent wrestling is just it's on fire right now, and it's it's a real cool thing to say it's to see because you know what I did go over. I think maybe 2008 was the first time. I gone over two thousand, yeah, around there. Um, but uh, you know, to see how it was back then, you know, so so has ups and downs back then. But to see how it is now, it you know, the game is just elevated. It's amazing right now. Uh, it's you can find a good show, an amazing show to go to. You know, almost any day of the week, and especially on the weekend. And there's a lot of talent over there right now. Um, and I, I think it's guys that are going to be breaking out um, very shortly. Hopefully, internationally, you know, hopefully they get a chance over here. But um, I love going to the UK, it's, especially right now, because the crowd is the crowd's so hot right now. It's, it's a truly special time right now over there. And hopefully everybody realizes that, because unfortunately in wrestling there's ups and downs, and you never know how long things are going to last. So, um Hey, don't take it for granted. That's uh, that's my word of advice. Thank you. Thank you. Hello again. It's Francis Race from Ingram Pop. Uh, my question is this: um, How important do you think it is for Impact to um, do like international tours, like maybe to the UK or um, other countries, for example? In your uh, opinion? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, obviously, you know, a few years ago, that was one of our biggest things to do was to go to the UK and do our UK tour. Um, and I think, you know, it's, a, it's an important thing. Even right now, you know, uh, just getting back into Canada and stuff like that, you want to be able to show the product to as many eyes as you can. You want them to be able to go to the live event and, and feel the atmosphere. That's it, It's such a unique thing. Impact Wrestling is a unique thing where you need to be there to experience it. And sometimes... It can be lost on TV and on video, but if you're there live, then you can truly feel it and truly see the excitement. So the more we get to travel, the more eyes we get to be in front of, the better. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, we have an email question here. Uh, what were some of the things you did after you came back uh, uh, for the last few days down in Orlando? When I came back at after being hurt, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, well, I, uh, although I was hurt, I still had uh, revenge on my mind. So I, I made sure to uh, get involved with Sammy and Ovi the best I could. You know, I, I, I had one eye, but I could still, I could still swing. Hey, uh, Vijay from Sports Kira again. Uh, one of my favorite matches that you were in was the one in the Hardy compound, uh, Total Nonstop Deletion. What are your memories from the match, and uh, uh, do you have uh, basically that? What are your memories from that uh, particular match? Yeah, you know that was that was uh, that was pretty cool, and uh, definitely a unique uh, a unique match to have. Uh, you know, when when those matches were happening, when they were doing the stuff at the Hardy compound. I, right from the first time I saw it, I was like, you know, I, I want to be a part. I need to do this. I want to be a part of this because it was just, it was such a cool thing. It's such a different thing in professional wrestling. So when I got word that we were going to be doing a match there, I was pumped about it. And you know, 
<laughs> when, as far as you know, bucket list things in professional wrestling, I, I can honestly say that wrestling on a volcano that wasn't on my bucket list, but now that I've done it, I'm very happy that it can be on my bucket list because uh, I never thought I would be getting blown up on a volcano while fighting Bobby Lashley. So uh, it was a, a very unique experience, but a very awesome experience. We got a question from uh, who is this? Uh, the Markout Mania podcast. Uh, <clears throat> you were trained by Killer Kowalski. Uh, there were there were some huge uh, names coming out of this school, including yourself, Triple H, Big John Studd, China, and others. You have to single it, it down to one thing that was tra- that you learned from Killer. Uh, talk to me about that, and what what advice did he give you that helped you most uh, model your your career? Uh, you know, one of the, the the most important things Killer taught was, you know, to uh, everything had to be real. There, there's no, uh, there's no pulling anything. There's no half this, half that, no half ass anything. You had to, you were either all in or you're all out. And that was something that I, you know, I've carried that with me throughout my career. Um, he was, I remember walking up the schools with there and he was always, he was always there, first first person there, last one to leave, and uh, that's a mentality that I tried to instill myself. Um, and uh, you know, I, I I actually won an award most dedicated at at school at the training school there. So um, that's something that I've tried to carry on from early in my career, and I still continue to carry it this day. Uh, Killer was a great a great teacher, and he was a great man, obviously, uh, and I know he's he's very missed. Hi, Eddie. David Dunn, New Zealand Pro Wrestling Informer again. Um, obviously, this injury you know, put you in hospital pretty gruesome. Is that the first major injury that you've had, or have you been banged up before in your career? Uh, I don't know. I've been playing, you know, stitches and cuts before, and uh, broken elbow, broken heel, separated shoulders, and you know, I've had a, I've had a decent amount here and there. Uh, you know, the knee surgery, but uh, all in all, for for how long I've been doing it, and um, I feel like the style that I've I've done, I feel like I've I've escaped so far pretty lucky, knock on wood. Yeah, you got a question, uh, your reaction to yesterday's baseball Hall of Fame an- announcement with uh, four guys going in. Uh Jim Tomey, Vlad Guerrero, uh, who else we got here? Uh Chipper Jones and Trevor Hoffman. Yeah, I'm uh, you know, I've obviously these guys it's getting to the point where it's it's guys that I grew up watching, so it's cool to see, uh, you know, these guys that were so prominent in the game when I was, you know, growing up, to see them now in the Hall of Fame. It's cool to see, but it's also kind of sad to see because it just means I'm getting older, which is not nice. Hello, there. It's Francis Rice from Amy and Pop again. Um, I want to know, Eddie, um, so what's your plans for Valentine's Day with you? Have you got anything special planned or any advice you can give um, any of the media out there for, like, with the snake and others? <laughs> yeah, you know, as of now, there's, uh, we don't have an exact plan. I think the wife actually might have jury duty, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, over the last few years, I've been away for most of the, for the majority of the Valentine's Day, which obviously sucks but it also makes it it makes my time home uh, much more special and you know you can't go wrong with flowers and chocolates uh edible arrangements that's always a good one uh so so don't be afraid to, to get those treats but you know just to, I, I try not to focus on just the one day valentine's day I, you know we try to try to make the most of it anytime we're together and i think that everybody should do that Adam Davey of the Impact Lounge uh, emailed in. Uh, Eddie, where, where would you rank the Wolves all time uh, among uh, tag team wrestling? Uh, yes, that's that's not my job to do. I can't rank us. Um, you know, it's number number one in my heart, number one in my mind. But you know, that's not up to us to not up to me to decide. It's up to the fans and whoever else. It's I I can't be unbiased on that.
Hey, uh, Riju from Sportskida again. Uh, my question is, I had interviewed you in uh, before your performance in India, and you said you were looking forward to it. How was your experience in India, and would you like to come back again? Yeah, it was uh, it was cool. It was obviously my first trip to India, so to be able to do that as part of Impact Wrestling and for the Impact uh, Television tapings, it was it was cool to see and to see you know the fans and the people of India. They you know they fully embraced us, um, and I tried to do the same when I was over there. I wanted to you know obviously eat the the food you know the local food, the Indian food and stuff like that, and and walk around and see you know just see the area. Um, I try to do that anywhere I go, um, but so I made sure to do that when I went to India. Uh, unfortunately, I did get sick at the end. I admit it. I, I got sick when I came back home, but it wasn't too bad. So all in all, it was definitely worth it. And then, of course, I'd be happy to go back again. Hopefully, uh, it'll be with Impact Wrestling. What kind of tour guide is uh, Sanjay Dutt? Uh, you know, yeah, he could be better. <laughs> hey Eddie, it's Mike Johnson from PW Insider again. Um, there's been a lot of changes in the roster of Impact. As a performer who just said he's staying for the foreseeable future, what do those changes mean to you in terms of uh, your standing with the company as far as you're concerned in terms of how they use you? And in terms of excitement, because when people leave, others have to come in. So obviously there's fresh and creative juices that also flow. So what's it like being someone that's watching all these changes and working in the midst of them? Yeah, uh, you know, like you said, people leave and uh, new people come in and people have to step up. It's either sink or swim for a lot of guys, you know, people are getting their shot, you know, on, on TV, on television product. You got to you gotta show you can do or else you're not going to last. So. Um, that's definitely a, a good time to see, and you know, good thing to see is either sink or swim boys, so uh, jump in and do it. Uh, as far as myself, I just I continue doing the same thing. You know, I, I worry about my stuff in the ring. I can't control things in the back. You know, it's kind of the, the attitude. I know we talked before. It's the attitude I've always had where I just do my thing. My my stuff's in the ring. That's all I can really concern myself with. Uh, to try to represent myself to the best of my abilities, and just kind of let everything unfold and and see where the, see where the chips lay in the end. All right, thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Uh, Stephanie for Future Magazine again. Um, I like the Mike Johnson quoted. Uh, there was there's been a lot of change in the in the roster. And you may be one now of the the veterans of of the roster. And uh, was I uh, was wanted to ask you, um, like Sanjay, that like Abbas or Gary Kim, are you interested in being creative, being being behind behind the scenes, and being your own talents? Is it something you want to do with Impact or with other company or? For your your own um, with maybe your own training. Thank you, merci. Thank you. Uh, no, yeah, I think you know right now. Uh, I just want to be able to focus on my stuff in the ring. Uh, I wouldn't want anything to to affect uh, what I do out there. And I, I don't know if I'd be able to put off those those names that you mentioned. They're they're very unique and very special because they have the talent to be able to do both, and that's that's tough to do. Uh, they're, the, they're some of the very best at it. Uh, I I would like to you know possibly do some training down the road, but you know not anytime soon because I just need to focus on what I'm doing in the ring and and performing the best of my ability right now. Thank you again. Thank you. Hey Eddie, this is Graham Matthews with Inroad.com again. Uh, in the last four years, you've been with Impact. You've obviously worked with multiple talents, a lot of great talent. Um, in the four years that you've been there, has been there has there been any talent that you had not got a chance to work with that's been there at the same time that you have been that you wish you could have worked with? Uh, um, you know, uh, we were able to do a three-way tag match with Kurt Angle uh, when he was still there. But I would have obviously loved to have had a singles match with him. That's one. Um, 
that unfortunately I missed out on. And even uh, as of right now, I have not, I've never been in the ring with uh, Alberto El Patron, so uh, that's one that I'd like to be able to check out the bucket list at some point. Hey, uh, Ricky from Sports Kid again. Uh, what are your thoughts on your former tag team partner, Davy Richards, pursuing a career outside wrestling uh, in medicine? It's amazing. He he's always been that way. He's he's always had his goal set on becoming a doctor, and you know he's a firefighter and he's he's a flight medic. It's it's amazing. It was always amazing to see. Uh, him go through the whole process, you know, go through the school and everything. He'd always be studying. If you'd like to ask a question, your request has been received. You know, he's he's one of those guys that he just fully engulfs himself in what he wants to do. And for for a while there it was wrestling and it was you know medicine and and going to school and that. So uh, I'm very proud of uh, you know what he's done. He's he's saving lives. Uh, he's, I'm I'm not doing that. He, he, you know, so I'm very grateful that he's he's. Uh, doing what he's doing, and I miss him. All righty, we got a final question. We'll go to Ryan for the final question today. You may now ask your question. Hey, Ryan Bowman from thegorillaposition.com again. Uh, you are a well-traveled veteran, as was stated earlier, and you have been all over the world. Through all the years, um, with the nagging injuries and all that travel, uh, what do you have to do as far as changing up not just your style in the ring, but your day-to-day -day schedule uh, as you uh, progress and become a veteran and get older? You know, you just have to it'd be smarter with everything. You know, like you said, for, from the style in the ring, but obviously um, home, you have to, you know, you want to rehab and, you know, be preventative as far as injuries and stuff like that. Because, yeah, you know, <laughs> these days we... The bumps and bruises, they seem to last a little bit longer and, you know, come a little bit easier. So uh, it's just all about being preventative. You just got to take care of your body the best you can. Obviously, some things are uh, you can't avoid or unavoidable, you know, much like getting hit in the face with a baseball bat. But other than that, you just do your best to take care of your body. You got to be smart because um, I don't plan on finishing up anytime soon. So the longer I can do this, the better. All righty, Eddie, I appreciate your time very much. What's uh, what's the final thought for today? What, uh, what What's on your mind? Uh, today, you know, today the final thought, obviously, I, I can't get – I can't get the feeling of Sammy hitting me in the eye. I, I lay down and I can still – I don't know, I can still feel the bat hitting me in the eye, and – it's not it's not pleasant. I don't know if you would expect that it would be, but it's not very pleasant. So um, today, tomorrow, next week, you know, the month from now, six months from now, my focus is, you know, to get my hands on Sammy and OVE and um, try to, you know, get a little revenge, get some payback. I think that's that's definitely in the works for me. Alrighty, Will. I I appreciate your time very much and. Uh, we will uh, wish you the best of luck in your, uh, you know, your recovery, and hopefully things will uh, get back to normal for you, and uh, Sammy will get his little payback. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Appreciate it. All righty, media. I appreciate you calling very much. We'll be back next week with another uh, superstar here on the Impact Wrestling Media Teleconference. Q and A session is over.